What's going on guys, it's Kyle, the how-to guy, Winter 3 here, and today I got a quick video for you guys showing you guys how to fix a PS2 keyboard that won't connect or won't work on Windows 10. So temporarily, I plugged in my old PS2 keyboard into my computer while I fixed my uh, old, my USB keyboard, and uh, it just wasn't working, and I did a little bit of research and found out it's actually quite, it's quite a common problem, and it's actually really easy to fix, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is either a backup USB keyboard or uh, if you don't have that, I'll show you guys how to use the on-screen keyboard. So to turn on the on-screen keyboard, all you got to do is come down here to the start menu, click on the little gear there and then click on ease of access, then come down here to keyboard and then under use the on-screen keyboard, turn that on and now you can use this to type uh, while you don't have a keyboard. So once you have that all sorted out, all you got to do is come down here to the search bar and type in reg edit and then run it and then click yes so something like this is going to pop up and before we do anything we're just going to make a backup of our registry just in case something goes wrong we can easily back it up so to do this all you gotta do is come up here to file export and then give it a name so let's call it uh, ps2 back up and then just go ahead and click save so once you've made a backup come down here to h key local machine and open it then open system current control set then services and then you're going to want to find i port 8042 i think it's called so if you have a keyboard you can just hit i and oh it's called i8042 port prt uh it's right down here so if you have a keyboard you can either you can just hit i or you can just find it like it says i 8042 prt and then you're going to want to click on start, right click on it, then click modify. Now under value data, by default it's going to be a different number, for me it's 3, I think most commonly it's going to be 3, and you're going to want to set this to 1, so I've already done this before. And then once you've done that, click OK, and then you can exit out of reg edit, and now go ahead and restart your computer. So once you get back on your computer, once you've restarted, you should see automatically your keyboard is working fine without any problems. So I hope this helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.